Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe why electrolysis is used to extract some metals. You should then be able to describe how aluminium is extracted by electrolysis. Finally, if you're a higher tier student, you should be able to write half equations for the reactions at the cathode and the anode. That can seem a little bit tricky, but the best approach is to learn them. In a previous video, we saw that we can list the elements in order of their reactivity, and I'm showing you that here. Metals which are less reactive than carbon can be extracted by reduction with carbon. However, metals which are more reactive than carbon are extracted using electrolysis. So in this video, we're looking at how electrolysis is used to extract metals from compounds, and a good example is aluminium. Aluminium has got a very low density, and it's used to make objects from drink cans to aircraft. We've got to extract aluminium from the compound aluminium oxide using electrolysis. So let's take a look at that now. I'm showing you aluminium oxide here. Aluminium oxide contains the aluminium ion Al3+, and the oxide ion O2-. Aluminium oxide has a very high melting point. It's around 2000 degrees Celsius. In the first stage, aluminium oxide is mixed with the compound cryolite. Now that lowers the melting point. This reduces the amount of energy needed and it saves money. Now we apply an electric current to the molten aluminium oxide. I'm showing you the setup here. The cathode and the anode are made of graphite, and that's a form of carbon. Graphite is a very good conductor of electricity, and it's got a very high melting point, so we can use it at high temperatures without melting. Here are the aluminium ions, Al3+, and the oxide ions, O2-. These ions are free to move because this is molten aluminium oxide, and remember that the word molten means melted. The aluminium ions, Al3+, are attracted to the cathode, which is the negative electrode. Here, each ion gains three electrons and forms an aluminium atom. Now, if you're doing the higher tier, then you need to memorize the half equation, which I'm showing you here. That's an example of a reduction reaction, because the aluminium ion is gaining electrons. And again, you need to memorize that. The oxide ions, O2-, are attracted to the positive terminal, in other words, the anode. Each oxide ion loses two electrons to form an oxygen atom. Again, if you're a higher student, you need to memorize the half equation, which I'm showing you here. Because the oxide ions are losing electrons, that's an example of an oxidation reaction. Now, there are some points about the reaction of the anode that we need to look at. We've already seen the half equation for the anode. Remember that oxide ions are losing two electrons to form oxygen atoms. We can also write the half equation like this. You could see either of these versions of the equation in the exam, but remember that they both show the same thing. They both show two electrons being removed from an oxide ion to produce an oxygen atom. Now the second point is that the oxygen atoms formed at the anode pair up to form the oxygen molecule O2. So we need to double these equations like this. Here's the final point about the anode. The anode must be replaced regularly. That's because the electrodes are made of graphite and that's a form of carbon. And these electrodes are around 900 degrees Celsius. The oxygen molecules produced at the anode react with the graphite forming carbon dioxide gas. I'm showing that reaction here. Now, producing metals by electrolysis is very expensive, and there are two reasons for this which you need to learn. Firstly, melting the compounds such as aluminium oxide requires a great deal of energy. Secondly, a lot of energy is required to produce the electric current. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the extraction of metals using electrolysis in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe why electrolysis is used to extract some metals. You should then be able to describe how aluminium is extracted by electrolysis. And finally, if you're a higher tier student, you should be able to write half equations for the reactions at the cathode and at the anode.